hi guys welcome back to Angie's kitchen so today I'm going to be showing you how I make my tomato stew stew is a very easy but delicate delicacy to make you can make stew today and it comes out great you make stew tomorrow it comes out not so great but today in this recipe I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a great stew every day don't forget to like this video subscribe share and I'll see you in my next video bye for this recipe, I'm going to be using tomatoes, pepper, red bell pepper, tomato paste, onion, tilapia fish, garlic, ginger, canola oil, spring onion, salt, curry powder. I'm also going to be using thyme. I'll be using um, whole cloves for my meat and the adobo seasoning, goat meat and chicken. So next I'm going to wash the pepper, the tomatoes, the onion, the garlic and the ginger and blend together. Now before I blend it, I'd cut them up into bits to make the job easy for my blender. So I cut them into bits and I blended everything together and parboiled until the water was dry. So. Um, there are other ways to make stew which I also do but I find this particular method to be very easy very fast and pardon me to say it's like one of the surest ways to make stew <laughs> like each time I use this recipe I'm sure it will come out well so next time I move on to the fish I'm going to season my fish with curry powder with maggi cubes um, and some salt if you so wish but I used only maggi cube and then cover it up and set aside then I'll move to the meat in here I'm going to be adding maggi cubes I'm going to be adding thyme I'm going to be adding curry powder I'm going to be adding my cloves I'm going to be adding salt and then I'll add um, ginger garlic and onion and then add water and allow it to cook so when this is cooking I then move to the fish I'll now deep fry um, the tilapia fish in another pot I put the oil into a pan and deep fry the fish then I'll go back to the meat and check to see if it's done then I check the tomato that I was parboiling and it is dry now I'm just going to scoop that into another plate I went back to the meat and it is done now so I'm just going to take it off the heat I checked also when you dip a fork in it and it comes out easily then you know your meat is cooked now the fish also is ready I'm going to scoop that out and now I'm going to fry my meat with the same oil I use in frying my fish this is how I like to do it I just find it to be more um, flavorful it's intensifying flavors as you as you as it goes because the same oil I use in frying, the, the flavor from the fish is also going to get into the, the meat. So I fry the meat. Um, once it's ready, I take it out. Um, and then I add the spring onion. The spring onion is a game changer in this stew. I wanted to try it. It gives the stew a very nice taste. The whole house is scenting. <laughs> As if it's Christmas even though we just finished Christmas <laughs> so after frying that for um, for a while I then add the tomato paste and then fry you need to uh, you you have to fry this very well to take to get rid of the sour taste and please when frying this don't go and check Facebook or Instagram because it will burn you want to reduce your heat stand there and keep stirring <laughs> so once you think once you know you fried enough you now add your um, tomato and pepper mixture into the oil and then still on low heat fry these two together until it is ready now how do you know your stew is ready 
you know your stew is ready when you taste and it is you know when it is beginning to taste sweet when you taste it and it's beginning to taste sweet then you know your tomato is ready so you fry 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 until it is ready so now I'm just going to add the meat I don't know what happened to the clip of um, me adding the, ch the fish but yeah I added it but it just didn't show up so I'll add the meat stock I sieve the meat stock to get rid of the um, garlic chunks onion chunks and all those good stuff so I just added the meat stock into the, the tomato mixture and then stir now I taste for seasoning tasting for salt taste for uh, Maggi cube but I didn't add anything because the seasoning from the meat stock was just perfect so I didn't add any other thing so I taste for salt and it was fine so I allow it to simmer for um, I think five to seven minutes on low heat one secret with making stew is reduce that burner reduce the heat it makes all the difference um, you can have this stew with rice you can have it with yam so many things till I come your way next